If you work in Canada, then you probably received one of this slip. Maybe you were working part-time as a student or working full-time with an employer. And for that very reason, you can expect to receive a T4 slip or a statement of remuneration, usually around the end of February every year. The T4 slip is essentially a summary of your employment earnings and deductions for the year issued by the employer. It shows how much you received in salaries, wages, bonus, and other earnings, and lists down all the deductions for the financial year, beginning from 1st of January until the 31st of December. Before we proceed and see an example of a T4, request you to like the video and press the subscribe button to keep getting such videos in the future. Let's consider an example. This section represents the name of the employer who has issued the T4, and this section shows what year the T4 belongs to. At the end of February every year, you are expected to receive your T4 for the previous year. This section includes your personal details such as name, address and social insurance number. It is basically the details of the individual who received this T4. The box 14 here represents your employment income and box 22 represents the total income tax that was deducted from your pay over the year. These numbers are just for understanding and not exact. This is some of the most common forms of remuneration that get added under box 14. Box 18 includes the total amount paid in employment insurance premiums and box 26 represents your contributions to CPP during the year which are deducted from your payroll based on your income. This T4 acts as an income confirmation that you worked with your employer in 2020 and represents the amount of deductions and money received. They may ask you for your T4 copy when you file for your taxes, for employment insurance claims, applying for a mortgage and so on. You should expect to receive a T4 by the end of February or first week of March and if you have worked for multiple employers during the year, expect a separate T4 for each one of them. If you don't receive one, ask your employer for a copy. These T4s are also submitted to the CRA by your employer directly and for your convenience, you could also visit the My CRA account to get a copy of the same. The different types of T4s are Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. Kindly like and subscribe to our channel to keep getting quality videos in the future. Thank you for watching.